guys, tomorrow is Mother's Day, whether you wanted to be one or not. <laughs> In an unprecedented move that could cause lasting damage to the Supreme Court, a draft opinion was leaked, which indicates that they intend to overturn Roe v. Wade. So the court is usually careful, but they slipped up just this once, and now they've got to live with it forever. <laughs> Sounds really unfair. The opinion was written by Justice Samuel Alito, and he bases his arguments on laws from the 1600s. So it's an outdated opinion from an angry 70-year-old. This shouldn't be a Supreme Court decision. It should just be a Facebook post. <laughs> the opinion also seems like it was written in a weird conservative bubble. Here's how you know. He quotes his own colleague, Brett Kavanaugh, six times. One for each beer in the pack. <laughs> He even cites Kavanaugh on civil rights, which is like citing Amber Heard on how to make a bed. <laughs> Chief, Chief Justice John Roberts said that the leak was, quote, the work of one bad apple. One bad apple is also another legal argument used in Alito's opinion. You know, as a man, there's no way I can understand the full impact of this issue, but I asked a bunch of women around the office what their personal experience was with abortion, and I gotta admit, I learned a lot from the HR meeting they made me go to as a result. <laughs> but I do know this ruling will have a disproportionate effect on poor people. I mean, most Americans don't have access to the same resources that I do. I mean, the average person can't just text Lauren in the middle of the night and say, yo, it happened again. <laughs> I just don't get why Republicans are so against this. I mean, maybe don't think of it as an abortion. Think of it as a patriot storming the uterus to overturn the results of an unfair pregnancy. <laughs>